It was an emotional day as members of the Kennedy family assembled in a courtroom in New York to support one of their own today. Ethel Kennedy, widow of RFK, listening as her daughter, Carrie, took the stand. Her daughter on trial for driving under the influence of a sleeping aid and today vividly recalling her father, his death, and the mother who carried the family forward. ABC's Mara Scavacampo was there. Testifying in her own defense at her drug driving trial, normally private Carrie Kennedy opened up about her very public family. In answering the defense's initial questions, the 54-year-old described her upbringing, affectionately referring to her father, the late Robert F. Kennedy, as, quote, daddy. She also talked about her father's assassination, saying, quote, I have 10 brothers and sisters. My mother raised us because my father died when I was eight. He was killed when he was running for president. Kennedy's 85-year-old mother, Ethel, who rarely makes public appearances, her sister, Rory, and two of her three daughters were also in court. The trial, now in its third day, is over a single misdemeanor count of driving while impaired. Kennedy says in July 2012, she accidentally took a prescription sleep drug with her breakfast instead of her thyroid medication, and then she got behind the wheel. Kennedy, who has pleaded not guilty, testified she felt disoriented and frightened and says, quote, I was struggling to figure out what had happened to me. If these jurors agree with the prosecution and defense that this was an accident, it seems like a stretch to convict her. On cross-examination, prosecutors tried to portray Kennedy as a frequent user of the sleeping drug who carelessly took the wrong pill. In the final moments, the prosecutor asked Kennedy if a conviction would hurt her public image. Kennedy responded, yes. Mara Schiavocampo, ABC News, New York.